How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with another episode of our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today we have UFC Fight Night Jojua versus Macedo 2. A big, big fight here in our women's bantamweight division. Basically, a title shot might be at stake here. Also, got a big one in the bantamweight division. Wooding taking on Duke and Wa Joaquin Buckley back into it, only making his second UFC appearance in real life. He's doing quite well as he takes on Chaos Williams and a lot, lot more. Appreciate you guys, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. Um, but yeah, the next pay-per-view we're making our way towards is UFC 308 Jones versus Overeem, the final pay-per-view of 2024. Four title fights on that one, and Conor McGregor versus Max Holloway 2. Imagine going to that pay-per-view card live. That would be insane. Uh, but yeah, that should be a good one. Like I said, uh, if you haven't done already so, uh, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Uh, click the little bell so that way you get notifications whenever my videos go live. As always, I'm going to be uploading uh, WMMA5, of course. I'm going to look to do a W3 stream in the uh, near future. Um, but I have Tennis Manager 2022. I have uh, Match Point Tennis Championships. I've got a lot more Football Manager 22 coming out. All good stuff. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's get into it. Jojua versus Macedo. Uh, but let's take a look at our rankings. Heavyweight, Biazigan up to number 11. Jurgis falls down to 18. At light heavyweight, you can see there, Uzdemir, after beating Reyes, the number one contender, he will be fighting John Jones at some point. Uh, nothing at super middleweight. At middleweight, Robert Whitaker moving up quite a bit. Love to see that. Welterweight, Vicente Luque uh, takes the number one spot, despite still not being the champion and having lost to Nardiev twice. Interesting. Uh, super lightweight, we have a lot of guys moving up after making their debuts in the division. Love to see it. Joe Lozon in at number 11, like that. At lightweight, Sage Northcutt, Gary Tonin moving up in the rankings. Featherweight, Austin Lingo back into the top five. Pavel Vitschuk up to number 10. Daniel Torres all the way down to number 17. Yikes. This dude was basically one fight away from maybe a title shot. At Bantamweight, Khalid Taha up to number 18. Zahabi moves down one spot. Joseph Morales into the top 15. At Flyweight, Tension moving down to 24. At Featherweight, Larissa Pacheco might have herself a title shot in the near future. Janae Harding down to number 5. Uh, women's Bantamweight, Shamadzu up to number 14. Kuntzkaya moves down one spot. Sangsorn down a couple. And Michelle Aramdi enters the rankings. Women's Flyweight, Shandi Aguda up to number 9. Joanne Calderwood all the way down to 19. Yikes. Strawweight, Carla Sparsa moves up one spot after Fairtex fails to get it done against Thug Rose. And that is our rankings. Let's go ahead and get things started here. Jojua versus Macedo. No taking place in Iowa. Jojua versus Macedo. Jojua versus Macedo as we are underway with our prelims. First starting out with Alexander Platenko and Adriano Marais. All right, finally. Again, the PC is starting to get a little bit slower as we get deeper into the save. It's just something we're going to have to deal with together. Uh, Potenko taking on Marais. This is the guy that's beaten uh, Demetrius Johnson in one championship. And Potenko wins with a heel hook in round number one and wants to face Miles Johns next. Chris Gutierrez taking on Benito Golden Boy Lopez at Bantamweight. Benito missed weight. He's going to be going up to featherweight. And Chris Gutierrez gets the win in round number two. Moving right along, Jin Su San taking on Q Sung Kim in the bantamweight division. Couple South Koreans going at it, fighting for supremacy, and it's G Jin Su San who gets the win here today. Fight was rated as being great. Like to see that. Saeed Nurmagomedov taking on Musar Ovloev. Couple Russians going at it here in the bantamweight division, and it's Evloev getting the win, unanimous decision after a good fight. Evloev showing some respect to his opponent. James Gallagher taking on Mark Bumblebee Della Rosa, whose wife is certainly doing a lot better than he is as he takes on the Bellator prospect. But Della Rosa gets a unanimous decision win here today after three rounds. Janelle Lausa taking on Paul Marin in the flyweight division. 
and it is Janelle Lausa getting a big win after a fantastic fight, TKO win after, well, not after two rounds, but, you know, halfway basically through the second round. Reina Kubota taking on Kanako Murata in the straw weight division. A couple Japanese fighters going at it, and it is Reina Kubota getting it done in round number two. Six, no, 17th win of her career, I should say. Andre Touchy Feely taking on Donal Iweala. I mean, it's so crazy to see where Andre Feely has gone in this save. He's on the prelims, but this guy was fighting for a title very early on in the save. I mean, you can see Calvin Cater, Mirsad Bektic, and Cub Swanton. I was like, you know what? There's really no other prospects for Holloway or contenders for Holloway to fight. Like, let's just throw him to the Wolves, give him a Holloway uh, title shot. Uh, he took advantage of it, got to the fourth round, got knocked out, beat Ricardo Lamas, but ever since then, it's been killer's row for him. Chad Mendez, Brian Ortega, Austin Lingo, Luis Gomez. He finds himself unranked in the featherweight division, taking on Denal Iweala. And it is Denal Iweala knocking out the former title challenger in the first round. Wow. At his five straight losses for Andre Feely, he's kind of in danger of getting cut maybe if he loses another fight. Ross Houston, who kind of looks like MJF, taking on Dimitri Bikrev at 175, and it's Houston getting it done, TKO in round number one. Alexander Gladkov taking on Junior Baby Albini, 265 is the weight class, Gladkov is the underdog, but he gets the TKO win in the second round, gotta love it, Alexander Gladkov. Hannah Cyphers taking on Loma Luke Boon Me, no Luke Boon You. Uh, Hannah Cyphers, 19 and 10, looking for that 20th win. She just retired in real life, as it is Luke Boon Me getting the knockout over Hannah Cyphers in round number one. Cyphers still looking for that 20th win, but Luke Boon Me goes to 14 and 7. Patrizina Lubanska taking on blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagian in a pretty big fight. Some ranked fighters in the flyweight division. As we are on the main show now, Lubanska, a heavy underdog. Caitlin Chukagian is the favorite by minus 650. And it's Lubanska getting the submission victory in round number three. Fight was rated as being good. Tyler Diamond taking on... Taking on Jung Young Lee in the 145 division. And it's Tyler Diamond taking the unanimous decision after three rounds. This guy is looking really good. So is Young Lee, though. Tyler Phillips, he's calling out. That would be very interesting. Chaos Williams taking on Joaquin Buckley. Remember, Joaquin Buckley, only one fight here in the UFC. 20 and 3. I believe that was the one champion. Take a look. Yeah, the one champion for quite a while lost to Bobby Nash in his farewell fight. He takes on Chaos Williams, ranked at number 22, coming off a win over Andre Fialio. And it's Joaquin Buckley getting the knockout in just round number two. Fight was rated as being decent. Dominique Wooding taking on Tom Dukenwa in the 135 division. Co main event, as it is Dukenwa. No, Dominique Wooding. I saw Dukenwa's name first. But it's Dominique Wooding getting the win over Tom Dukenwa, the Englishman. Now 5-1 and one in the UFC, and that is a huge win for him. Only loss being to Sean O'Malley, who's very prone to, you know, the drugs and whatnot. As he gets a big win over a former close-to-title challenger there in Dukenwa. Liana Jojua taking on Veronica Sato in our main event. Jojua win over Irene Aldana her last time out. Still ranked very highly in the division. Veronica Macedo on the other side, coming off a win over Megan Anderson. Again, maybe not a title shot at stake, but both of these ladies, very popular, have been around for a while as we get our main events underway. Right hand very narrowly misses. 
halfway mark in the round. Vulnerable to attack. Kick to the lead leg. Macedo coming in on the attack. Uh-oh, Joju has been cut under her eye now. Macedo bobs and weaves. Not, neither fighter really able to get anything significant. And nine, Macedo, as we enter the second of a possible five rounds. Yojua is starting to limp a little bit here in just round number two. Powerful right hook, Macedo's knocked down. Yojua sensing victory, about to unload, and halfway part of the round, attempting a Kimura. Wow, very weird. Again, going for the Kimura, she cannot get it. Couple punches to the body, still going for the Kimura. And the round is up. 10-9, Jojua. After the second round. Well, I should say 19-19. After Macedo took the first one. Counter left hand from Jojua. Powerful straight right. Macedo wobbles, then falls. Stunned Macedo... Heavy shot after heavy shot, and the referee calls a stop. Your winner in this main event is Liana Jojua, the 18th win of her career. The only time I've seen her actually fight live, I want to say, I can't even remember. All I remember was that she like got her nose busted up, and the referee called a stop to the fight, even though it was kind of crap. Because if it was a men's fight, they would have just like, whatever, like, he broke his nose, just keep going, you know? Yeah, one of those kind of moments, but it is what it is. But Jojua getting a big win here today in our main event. Nearly 4,700 in Iowa came to watch this card. Love to see it. No popularity changes. Let's go ahead and take a look. I know we had a fantastic fight on the prelims. We sure did. Lausa and Marin get 100k each. First round finishes. We got Luke Boonmi getting 100k. We've got Houston... We've got Iweala, uh, and we've got Alexander Platenko all getting 100k. Love to see it. Million in profit, absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the next pay-per-view we're making our way towards is uh, 308 Jones versus Overham. That should be a big one for the heavyweight championship of the world. Appreciate you guys as always. I'm AZPlyo21, and I will see you guys at the fights.